nobody wants to write about it, and I'm not allowed to talk about it. If I do, he said, I get put in jail. So we'll play that game a little bit longer. We won't talk about it, but you're allowed to talk about it. I hope you do, because there's never been anybody so conflicted as this. As far as the trial itself, it was very unfair. We weren't allowed to, allowed to use our election expert under any circumstances. Uh, you saw what happened to some of the witnesses that were on our side. They were literally crucified by this man. who looks like an angel, but he's really a devil. He looks so nice and soft. People say, oh, he seems like such a nice man. No, unless you saw him in action. And you saw that with a certain witness that went through hell. And when we wanted to do things, he wouldn't let him, he wouldn't let us do those things. But when the government wanted something, they got everything. They got everything they wanted. It's a rigged, it was a rigged trial. We wanted a venue change where we could have a fair trial. We didn't get it. We wanted a judge change. We wanted a judge that wasn't conflicted. And obviously, he didn't do that. Uh, there's, nobody's ever seen anything like it. We had a DA who was a failed DA. Crime is rampant in New York, violent crime. That's what he's really supposed to be looking at. Crime is rampant in New York. Yesterday in McDonald's, you had a man hitting him up with, with uh, machetes, a machete. Whoever can imagine even a machete being wielded in a store, in a place where they're eating and he's going rampant. Then Bragg is down watching a trial on what they call uh, crimes, crimes. They're falsifying business records. That sounds so bad. To me, it sounds very bad. You know, it's only a misdemeanor, but to me, it sounds so bad. When they say falsifying business, that's a bad thing for me. 